My name is Tanya. And I'm David. We have two girls. I'm in a son-in-law and we just had a grandbaby. We came the Sunday before the shutdown. Walking in the door, man, we just felt like if we weren't here on a Sunday, we were missed. I have a brother that goes here and he was a big influence of when I asked him if we could come, I said, I don't want to step on your toes, but can we come to your church? And he was like, sure. But we haven't been members very long. I serve on the um, security team and um, we're in the life group. We are with Scott Lyles and Michael Glover. Michael Glover. <laughs> <laughs> and I serve on the First Impressions team. You might see me at the door at 1030 every other Sunday. I love it. I love seeing people walk in and just welcoming them and want them to feel as home as much as we are. There was such a change in us when we first came here. Like, yes, we believe in God. Yes, I was baptized as a young child. And, um, but even just sitting down, I mean, eating dinner, just becoming a family and, and praying more often. Um, we pray every night together. What God has been doing in my life, He's really touched me, touched my heart a lot. As a young boy, I was saved but it just one of those deals, it just a long time ago and got off track of everything. And then, you know, just having my life group here that we're in, it just, it's helped me. And I got, got saved and then I got baptized. He talk, talked to me about that and everything. So it's been a blessing being here. We were brought up in church so for the launch commitment for us is that we were not used to tithing, period. So Dave was transitioning to a new job back in April of 2020. And, you know, I prayed constantly. I'm like, God, okay, if this is what it is. Like, I was making a deal. You're not supposed to do that. I was making a deal. If he gets his job, we're going to we'll tithe. And so we, I mean, he got the job, and we never missed. And I was like, oh, I don't know how we're going to afford this. And so God, every, every time it was like, oh, this is really working. So when it became time for launch, I just thought, if he can do that in our lives, what can he do in everybody else's lives? And not only affects just the community of Mansfield. We don't live in Mansfield, we live on the outskirts. So I know the people on the outskirts of Mansfield are gonna get the benefits from launch. It's not our money, you know, we just manage it. If we are struggling or going to, we just don't see it because God's taking care of it. It's just a blessing to be able to do that. So we have experienced some challenges. Um, we have a daughter that's in college. We pay tuition. And when it came up to make how much we were going to do this, and I thought, oh Lord, we have to pay tuition. That We have to do it. But I was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. And so we set an amount down. Last month, Brittany's tuition money didn't come through. And I said, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? It was the day I had to go pay it, March 1st. I clicked on her portal at UTA. Her scholarship money had come through. And I, was, I came home, I said, we were supposed to make scholar, um, tuition money today. We're supposed to pay. And I said, her scholarship came through. And it was like, that was God, because we were going to have to scrape it together to get it out. But I mean, that's a big deal, because that's God putting his hand in there and making sure things worked on his timing and not mine. What the launch journey means to me is it just seeing that the church that we belong to reaching out to the community of Mansfield and, and other places, it just it warms your heart just to see you know, how we can do that and take care of our community. I would encourage if families are in, you know, still making their commitments every month, just go ahead and do it because at the end of the month, it's gonna be just fine. Although you don't see it in the moment because you're starting to panic, but it's gonna be okay. And you just have to trust. Let God take over. You know, just put your trust in Him. I would encourage the people, the people that we know, or the people that are coming into church that hadn't done launch, just let God take over. Because He's there for you, and you just gotta trust in Him.